call the health committee meeting to order here at 11 minutes after 1. Uh, Councilor Snell is going to give the invitation for us, please. Please rise. <coughs> Dear gracious Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. And Lord, uh, we ask your blessings on this uh, council meeting. And Lord, uh, give us wisdom, strength, and understanding, and bless our uh, committee members that are here to support us in this uh, and bless our visions, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ms. Shelley will call the roll. Janelle Fulbright? Here. Dick Blake? Here. Bill Anklin? Here. Jack Dixon? Here. Joe Bird? Here. Julia Coates? Jody Fishinghawk? Here. Meredith Fraley? Here. John Harvin? Here. Pat Lord Jordan? Present. Frankie Vargas? Present. Chuck Huskin Jr. Here. Lee Keener? Ahani. Curtis Snell? Here. David Thornton? Here. David Watkins here? Here. Tara Talon Watts. Ahani. Oh, David Watts. Thank you. Uh, next is the approval of the minutes. Do I have a motion to make a motion to be approved? Second. All in favor of the minutes? All the same sign. Okay, the minutes are approved. Next are reports with the Mr. George Valiers of the Claremore Service Unit. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I think you have a copy of the report. Uh, visits are up. Collections are up. Things are uh, doing, doing pretty well right now. Questions? Yes, Councillor Keener has a question. Yes. Madam Chair, George, I just wanted to uh, comment on the renovating and upgrade of the OB surgery unit. So that's a really good, uh, going to be a really good improvement. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know it's going on at the same time. We're trying to do some other improvements too. So uh, that's what you're taking on all that at the same time. We're trying. Yeah, I applaud you for it. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Anyone else have questions or comments? Yes, Councilor Watts. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. So I followed up with the Marshal Service on the jurisdictional issues, and I asked for a meeting of all of us so that everybody was on the same page. Uh, I got reassurance on Saturday that we were there, whatever the appeal was, but that we would have a meeting. So that everybody can be on the same page and at least the marshal service understands that it's a stop, a temporary measure, and it's not a complete measure. So we have working on a response from the chief's office about the legislative fix from our perspective. Because I know tribal leaders are asking you, so I want you to know. Thank you. Anyone else? If not, thank you for that good report. Thank you. Next is Tricky Nation Health Services, and I understand uh, Connie Davis is going to be here today, and uh, Dr. Nolan filling in. Good afternoon. I'm, I'm Dr. Davis Nolan. I'm the interim medical director. I'm the medical director of Hastings. Ms. Davis couldn't make it, as you mentioned. Uh, you should receive the report. If there's any questions I should answer, I'd be happy to fill those. Yes, Councilor Keenan. Madam Chair, thank you for being here today. And uh, I was wondering if you could walk us through the updates, uh, as you know them, uh, for the, all the IT portion uh, of the. Okay. When when you mention the IT, are you talking about with the proposed with the electronic health records? Or? Yes, and and maybe existing as well, if, or or why the need for the upgrade and okay. what, where we're going with that. The, the current system we have is what's called RPMS. It's what Indian Health Services used for um, for many years, and that's what we started on. And realistically, it was made more for the clinic because more of the Indian Health Service facilities are for clinic-based instead of hospital. However, we've been uh, working hard, and we've we adapted and made it made it work. With that information, there are a few misconceptions in that it's a free system. However, it's not free, and that we do pay for um, services, and that that number 
I've been told different numbers, but I believe it's somewhere between one and two million dollars a year to uh, be able to have uh, upgrades as well as uh, support we need. We have been exploring other options, and some of the options are some of the uh, newer systems from different companies that we we visit with because we you know, we have a, uh, a belief that with a newer system we could meet the needs of our patients better. Uh, it would allow us to improve on our billing. Um, with the newer systems, they have better systems in place to allow you to see additional patients. Uh, it makes it easier to gather information as far as which patients um, are affected by different, uh, different items. Um, one of the big concerns is that there are funds available through, the, through what's called meaningful use. We did meet uh, the first day of meaningful use and we were able to collect funds from that. However, there's questions that we're hearing that it won't be able to uh, fully meet, meet the second part of meaningful use, which was costs and finances. But right now, we're still in the exploration phase and we are continuing to look at the possibility exactly what it would cost as well as what benefits we have. That answers your questions or not? Yes, thank you. Um, the the uh, is budgeted in the capex for uh, the next fiscal year will be one. Okay. Um, I can't give you an honest answer there. I know it's been a discussion, but I don't know how far it's gone in as far as the budget. Okay. And this will take care of clinics and hospital. That's the goal. Yes. Of a new system. A, a new system would be to, to uh, take care of the clinics and the hospital because we. Realistically, we need to be on the same system. That way, if a patient is seen in J, they come to the hospital, we're able to look at the records. So, any move that we would make would be very important and it serves all of our citizens. And would that system be right out of the box, too, or have to be customized for its Cherokee Nation? On all of the systems, what they do, it, it doesn't come straight out of the box in that uh, you also purchase support with it. So what will happen is they help you build templates that would better suit your system. Uh, for instance, on family practice, um, it would be a, di a different template than, say, a surgeon might want. And so they would help us develop the template that would best uh, fit our needs. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Next is Councilor Lang. Thank you, Madam Chair. And, and the new systems that you're looking at, are, are, is one patient going to be able to go from, let's say, no auto to three rivers for dentures and you're going to be able to pull up the chart, the entire chart, so that they don't have to go around to all the different clinics and sign up for new charts at each, at each that, venue? That would, that would be the goal. I apologize for cutting you off. That would be the goal. Now, in, the, uh, in an attempt to be as honest and, and up, up front with you, Dental is different because dental uses a system called Dentrix, but that is an issue, as most of you are aware, is we have different chart numbers at the clinics and the hospital. So my, uh, what I believe is if we went with a new system, we would probably have one chart number at every, at every place, so it should make it easier. So you're going to try to do it for eyeglasses, dentures, healthcare, um, have one chart, one, one chart number. And it's going to bring out the, all the information for that patient at each location that they go to. It would be for health care. I would assume we would try and do it for all three because the optometry is just now looking at how are they going to use the system we're in. So that should be the same. Dental, it should be the same as well. They do use a, system, a different system and it's called Dentrix. It's supposed to be on the leading edge of IT, but the answer is yes, it should allow everything to be looked at. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to see you all work towards that goal because right now some of our complaints, all of us, uh, are that when we we go to, let's say, the Bartersville Clinic, which doesn't have eyeglasses or dentures, go to another clinic, and maybe we didn't have the proper facility at Bartersville, we have to go to Nowata or uh, Three Rivers or Salina or any number of places that can accept their health care needs and care for them. They have to fill out a whole new chart. they got to drive 100 miles, burn the gas, 
fill out a new chart, go back home, wait for an appointment, come back again. And, and this is one of the complaints that, that I received. So if you all are going to do something, let's, let's do it to where we can get one chart number, pull up the entire chart for that one patient. Otherwise, we're still going to be burning gas going back and forth to various clinics again. That's my fear that if it's not all done at one time, it, we're going to be right back to where we are now. I, I think that's a valid point. That would definitely be something we should be looking at. Who's in charge of this group that's putting this together? We have a uh, person by the name of, there's actually, there's a committee that is on it. We have, um, I believe we have two pharmacists. We have uh, two or three IT personnel. We have, the clinics are represented by two physicians and the hospital is represented by two physicians. So we're trying to make sure that all parties are included. Sure, I understand. Madam Chairman, I, I wonder if we could have that some of that group or that committee next time we meet because I don't Sunday know that on the program. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'll advise. Thank you, sir, and, and thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, next is Councilor uh, Kevin Watts. Sorry, someone was talking to me. Thank you very much, Madam Chairwoman. So on this system, let me make sure I understood you correctly. Um, we're not going to go with RPMS. We are going to go with an RPMS compatible system. It, it would not be compatible. Uh, now, now let me let me clarify. We are just exploring at this point. The final decision has not been made. We're just exploring options. But with the RPMS, RPMS is what the Indian Health System works. One of the issues have been is that any time that we try and purchase uh, another system that comes in that would help benefit. One of the comments that we're always told is it will work with any system that you have. However, when they come and they look at with RPMS, they're not compatible. So, I, I'm, oh, go ahead, I'm so, sorry. Um, I know there's a lot of data sharing issues with Indian Health Service um, because we have public health, we have 638 obligations and we have public health obligations, yes. I would say as a government. So, are there not requirements that we not be RPMS compatible in our contracts for the monies as well as our obligations because we would want data from IHS and we would want to give data to IHS. So how would we resolve those issues and work through those issues? Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not an IT expert for one thing, so let me, let me throw that in. However, the system would not go away. Our, all the data that we have in RPMS, the system would still be there because we need to access all of that data. However, the systems that we're looking at, we could still um, gather the information. In fact, we could probably gather them uh, and it would be more efficient in doing that. Some of the tribes have already started to switch in that um, the Alaska Native group, they've switched to one called Cerner and that they've been on it now for at least a year. And it actually, from what the information we're gathering, it has worked very well. One of the issues with the RPMS system, and again, we have not made a decision, we're just exploring options. One of the issues is that it's the old VA system, and the VA has already started to move away from it. So they're actually losing some of the support to keep the system running. And, and I, I don't disagree. I hear your issues. Sure. I mean, we obviously can do a better job running our health care sure. system than the federal government. I mean, I know that Mr. Ballier does what he can and his staff within Claremore Indian Hospital's federal facility, but it is not the Cherokee Nation health care system. And, and you're speaking, I think, directly to one of those issues is that we can look for more efficiencies and accuracy and data management in moving away from what is the federal system. Yes. But I also know that we have to deal with the reality and that we have obligations in sharing data back and forth, uh, potentially, and I don't know how we'd work with the epidemiology center our in the area office. How would we interact with the many Cherokee Nation citizens served by the federal facility at Claremore Indian Hospital? Uh, I, I just want to know, I guess, to uh, Council Lay's point, is when they do come back for more details, is that they would bring us responses to those maybe concerns. How is that? I, I, I think that's a good way of putting it. I believe they'll be able to get it in. And the, I think another question, too, but I don't know that I heard this, was that that's not that IT doesn't cost that amount of money, 
but it seems like a lot, and if there doesn't seem to be a lot of details telling us that this millions of dollars we're approving for this is going to pay for this and resolve it. So right now, like the budget bond tonight, it's kind of a, a black box budget. And there's not a lot of detail behind it, and I think there's concerns because I wanted to understand what Councilman Keener's vote was about in executive and finance, and after we started talking about it, I agree with him. There's a black box with a bunch of like 21 million, something, something like attached to a nebulous black box that we don't know what it's paying for, and that's fiscally not fiscally responsible maybe for us to vote for that if we don't have more details maybe by tonight. Okay, I, I'll try and answer what I, mean, I can. I know you got stuck help. with today's committee meeting. <laughs> that's not your that, and, and that's totally fine, to be honest. I didn't know we were going to talk about IT, but that's the purpose of this meeting, is for me to give you what information I can. With this, um, we're at a point where we can't move forward in having the companies come in and present. We're, we're doing an RFP uh, for the various companies to come in and show us even more information. We have, we have seen at least three of the systems, but when they say $21 million, that is spaced over, my understanding is it's spaced over four to five years. And that would be, in the worst case scenario, we expect it to be much less than $21 million. Well, can Connie get us additional information about that in writing about what that budget bond does? Yes. Who, who should I? Can I send it? If you I'm send it to Shelly or Gail, then they can distribute it to the entire council. Okay. When the meeting's over, I'll contact the head of IT. I have uh, one other uh, okay. question, too. So on the Set aside monies, the 5% and now the plane dollars, the plane sale monies. On the contract health service, can we get a more detailed report, not by name, but um, maybe by district or by county, and if it's coming out of Claremore Indian Hospital that's either been denied or deferred there, it's been here, or if it's Creek Nation, or if it's Miami, I think it's the only three yeah. that other Chusa areas. So if we could get an understanding of which counties are coming out of and which facilities are getting yeah. covered so we can see that the system's working, but not so much detail that we're violating with that, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, next is uh, Councilor Biker. Thank you, Madam Chair. This weekend, I was in some huge meetings in the Northwest. One of the ladies there wanted to know if she could get her prescriptions by mail from Hastings because she had said her cousin who lives in Tennessee was getting her prescriptions by mail from Hastings. But I told her that it was likely that the cousin in Tennessee had actually been to Hastings and one of the doctors there prescribed the medication. Would that be the case? Actually, if she comes to Hastings, she can receive those by mail. In fact, with the... But, excuse me, but, but that was... The caveat is that she needed to come to Hastings herself. She could not send a prescription from no. Portland. No, you're, you're exactly right. It has okay. to be seen at one of the clinics for Hastings. Right. And actually, once they request the winter seat by mail, they'll be counseled. And it's a very nice system, but you're right. She can't send us something in writing. Okay, well, that was what I thought, and that's what I told her, but I wanted to be sure I was correct. Well, you're, okay. you're exactly right. Okay, thank you. Next is uh, Councilor Schnapp. Doctor, up here at uh, GA Clinic, have you heard any talk of uh, upgrading the clinic? I, I know there's been some discussions whenever we talk about uh, upgrades in the future, but I, I couldn't start to tell you when that may occur or exactly what the plans. Whenever we do discuss, I've heard from time to time that they understand you yeah, could use the improved facility. Well, back uh, a few years ago when we did the Salina Dome Clinic and the Bonita Clinic, Jay was supposed to be the next one on the list and it would be studied and we would have some sort of a discussion about it. So I would like to know where we're at. I'll see if I can't get that information for you. Thank you. I apologize, I don't have an answer right now. <coughs> Councilor Thornton? Yes, uh, Dr. Nolan, I just want to tell you that uh, uh, I really appreciate uh, your response to 
who are citizens of the council and the problems that we have. And I know that uh, I know that you're in that line of fire, and I know that uh, very seldom you probably get a thank you, but uh, I want to thank you. Thank you. Councilor Keener. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, well, I'm just going to make one quick comment on the the budget, the health budget. Um, so I think uh, kind of follow up with uh, Councilor Watts' comments, and um, I know I think uh, uh, other councilors have asked us before that when we do have our, our budget model, we have representation from the health department, and that was missing the last time. So um, that's only going to help you uh, if uh, you get that represented here and you relay that back to Ms. Davis. And uh, so because when we heard the budget mod, there were several categories of uh, no justification. So that's all we're asking is uh, for that justification because we're in charge of the uh, fiscal uh, properties and so forth. So um, uh, if, if you would relay that back to her, and uh, as I say, we'll only help you and help us understand what's going on. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Councilor Christian Hawk is next. There has been going to a PA of your name. Dustin Hawk. I was going to tell you he was a very nice gentleman and he was very helpful. Uh, thank yeah. you. But he was nice. I'll, I'll relay that to him. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Dr. Nolan, would you would you please set up a tour for us, uh, District One there at Hastings Hospital, just to walk through. Um, just let people know that we're watching and just, uh, I know that with, with the transition here, I know there's some changes that are being made and we just want to let them know that, you know, we're, we're supporting it, but we're also, you know, want, we expect quality service up there. I sure will. Yes. Councilman Walking Stick. Uh, can you schedule that on a Friday, preferably? <laughs> We'll make whatever works for your state. Okay. And also, um, I also like to meet uh, Brian Hill. Is, 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 is he employed already as our CEO? Yes, he's been there for two weeks. I think, I think he's going to be a very good addition. Yeah, thank you, Bill. Good. Uh, maybe bring him to the next uh, uh, council meeting. That's the meeting. Okay. I'll, I'll make sure he's here. I've got comments. I'm sure he's going to be excellent because he's closely related to me and Councilor Carter. <laughs> we didn't even know he was hired until after the fact. Okay. Read it. Whatever. I only see him once a year at the Garvin reunion. Yeah. So. That's all. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Before you leave, I just need to talk to you all. Thank you. Thank you. Next in new business is uh, Councilor Fishenhawk. It's got something up for discussion. We've got a big book here to look at. It's on my desk. I guess Councilor Fishenhawk got it all together and then she didn't get a copy. It's a, a comprehensive study of comparison. I don't think everybody's had a chance to look at it. It's good. It's good. It's, 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 and it's, it's not everybody's had a chance. Can we just roll it over to next time? Yes. I'd appreciate that, Chair. Second. Okay, uh, are you putting that in the form of a motion? That yes, yes. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All opposed, same sign. We will uh, give everybody time to analyze it and go over it, and we'll have it here for next month, the study of the salaries and vacancies. And someone's put a lot of work into this, and we really appreciate it. Well, okay. Okay. Uh, do we have any announcements? If not, I need a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Motion. Everybody in favor of adjourn? Aye. 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 All right. Meeting is adjourned. You did good, Madam Chair. Thank you.